Uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Allen Family Firewood. We are inside right now. Uh, not because it's not nice out. I mean, it's... Decent. It's decent out. It's, what, low 30s, 32 degrees out? But... <laughs> the ground is still too soft to be working out in the wood yard. So, this is Jack. <laughs> Really? Gotta play. <laughs> Gotta play, right? <laughs> it's right in front of the, you guys are sitting on the trailer there that has the, the pallets where I've been working here. You saw from the earlier clip the lumber that I had brought in because hmm. I knew we were going to be getting the no. snow. So, and I knew what would happen out there. The ground is soft. Even that last video had all that frost in the ground. It's gone. Yeah. It's all that rain. Plus, it's been warm, well, warmer. Yeah, it was 40s. been up in the 40s, so not really getting super cold at night. It, it just, you can't drive on it out there with a tractor and, and be moving around because it's just, it's taking all that gravel that we just bought and just <laughs> smashing it down into the muck and the mud. And, yeah, can't do that. But I did get out there this morning and do some back dragging. Yeah. But I think I made more of a mess. Than anything else, yeah, that's I probably not shouldn't work have. Yet. It's supposed to be really, really cold this week, so. Well, yeah. If, uh, welcome to Maine. Cold, warm, <laughs> cold, warm, back and forth. It's, yeah. I think tomorrow morning it's only supposed to be like 15 degrees. Yeah. The next three days is. Yeah. I think even later cold. in the week it's supposed to get down around 10 or 12. Yeah. But this weekend it's supposed to go up to 50s, 50, mid 50s or higher, and rain. So we're gonna <sighs> be right back in this same. Same mess. I don't know. Again. Hopefully, with three days of really frigid temps like that overnight, it'll get a good base. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, all the snow that's out there is it's just going to melt and go down through and make a mess. So we'll see. See how it is, but but I knew that snow was coming, so I did saw some more lumber, and that's the lumber you just saw on the on the trailer, uh, so that I could get in here and and at least build some pallets. I mean, I think I should have sawed out some more lumber because I got all those pieces and pots cut and yep. I'm ha more than halfway through building pallets, so. Just can't get out uh, there and split yet. No, we can't even go do a delivery because <laughs> up on the top side is where the dry wood is and we've got to go get, I don't know if he's coming to come get some of it or we got to deliver it, but there's six cord that's got to go. So a load. Yeah, three, yeah. Four, three loads. Yeah, but, but still, you don't want to go. It's all loamy up there where I'm driving up through because that road that goes up kind of went across the lawn, and I back dragged that the other day in it. I mean, that was like that much goose poop. It was nasty, <laughs> but it's it's smooth, and I want it to freeze that way. So. Yeah, exactly. But <sighs> so uh, <laughs> yeah. Not much we can do out there. No, that's why we haven't had a really had a video come out anytime soon, and we're, we're kind of kind of stuck. Yeah, kind of <laughs> stuck. <laughs> but so, we got thinking. We have been all this time. We've been doing YouTube. We've been getting stickers from from all you guys, and yeah, we've been trying to think of the best place to put them. We were. <laughs> We were going to put them on the tractors. Everybody said, no, no, no. No, no, they want us to do that. I agree. So. <laughs> no. Well, I don't care. I know you don't. There's no place on the splitter to put them because that's just a rusty old no. hunk of iron, but it's not pretty. <laughs> and then you thought of getting the... All the saw blades. Blade. The old cross-cut saws, you guys, the two men. I was thinking I could get those and hang them up off the roof and put the stickers on that. But after a couple nights of sleeping on that and realizing <laughs> that with the luck I've been having lately, mm. it'd be just my luck. One of those, however I fastened them up there with a zip tie or some wire that we'd be splitting and one of them would break and that thing would just come down and probably, be, probably, be right, you or... probably right across <laughs> the back of my neck is where it would land. Oh, and no, we that don't need that pooch the videos for a while if, if not permanent <laughs> probably <laughs> so, permanently we're not gonna do that we've just got all these stickers and 
people that have helped us and got us to where we're at. I mean, it's people we've been able to bounce ideas off from. So I pulled out the sponge this morning and cleaned as best I could this garage door. Yeah. We put us up here to, because <coughs> we're us. <laughs> and that's where I think we're just, we're just going to put them on the garage door. I yeah. mean, there is a... Not an original idea, we know, but... There's a ripple, pretty good crinkle ripple. in the door here. <laughs> we'll have to go around and um, I think yeah. I probably shouldn't mention names. But <laughs> a family member, not my son either. Uh, should we even go into that? He knows what he did. He knows what he did, yeah. Yeah. Lyle knows what he but did. But everybody else doesn't. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, I think they get a kick out. Oh, that'd be funny, yeah. So, <laughs> we just put this garage door in. I know we're getting off topic. We're going to do stickers, <laughs> but I got to tell you this. So, my cousin, who I'm going to remain nameless, he knows who he is. Yeah. We, we go like four and a half hours north to get this garage door. He comes up and helps me. We take it out of this guy's garage. Got a good deal, found it on Craigslist. Brought it home, comes down, helps me put in the garage door. So we get the garage door all in, perfect. So in the wintertime when we're splitting and it's cold and nasty out, we take the dump trailer and we back it here into the shop next to the wood stove. And then we stack the wood onto the pallets inside. It doesn't take that long to stack it. Cool. I mean, no. what, an hour and a half tops? Maybe, yeah. So I usually leave it hooked to the truck, the trailer. We bring the door down right to the tongue, and then I've got a couple foam boards that we put across just to keep most of the, most of the heat cold out. Here. Yeah. <laughs> so we're in here stacking one day, and my cousin stops by, and we're shooting the bowl, and he's out in the yard doing something, and I think they needed my truck for something. But we'd been in here shooting the bull, and out he goes, and I hear my truck start, and I'm like, well, that's odd. I don't know why, who's starting my truck? I hope they, well, because everybody's been inside, they know it's hooked to the trailer. That was back when it was starting, of course. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next thing I know, here goes the trailer, headed out through the door. We're both like, no, no, and it just folded the garage door right out. Uh, so... Yeah, it, it, it stayed new for, what, a month? So now it has a little ripple. <coughs> yeah, and down through there. A couple and all creases. The way to the bottom and yeah. Yeah. It, it stove it up pretty good, but. Still works. He did help fix it and bend it, and we pushed and pried and yanked, and we got it back. So it works pretty good for the most part. Yeah. I mean, it's a little hard to. Every now pull. and then I got to get outside and shove on it to get yeah, it pulled back and. It'll work, but... It did leave some residuals. Yeah, but I didn't mention any names. No. No, no, no. Anyway, <laughs> we were doing stickers, right? Yes. So, we've got our sticker up there, because that's just the way it is. And, and I'm thinking, the first sticker we're going to put up there, there's actually two people that really, really were a big part in getting us going with Started. YouTube. And kind of prodding us and shoving it and one is my son and he doesn't have a sticker doesn't need one <laughs> but the other one is Dana and Ann over at Small Firewood they've they've been a, a big help throughout the whole thing I mean showing us how to do different things I mean heck they showed us how to make that short and the very first one we did went like just cuckoo are we still talking about that does, does he not want to hear about it anymore? No, he doesn't want to talk about that anymore, but small firewood, so... We're I'll, gonna... let, I'll let you have the honors. Yeah? Can you get the backing off? That I would probably be the... I don't know. i got to be able to see it. you got fingernails. I don't. I chew mine off. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Probably so should have I... practiced this first. Yeah, maybe we should have done that in the beginning and... Okay. But anyway, so... Yeah, Dana and Ann have been a huge help to us. Need a knife? No, I don't think that's going to work. Oh, here we go. There you go. You got it. Getting there. Some of these are tricky. Yeah. They have, I mean, it's, 
we 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 bust each other's chops quite a bit, Dana and I, because Dana and I go back a long, long ways, you guys. And we've had a lot of fun over the years, and he's built a lot of stuff that I've had. And he's the only guy I know that can build stuff that I don't break. So he's always built my trailers and fixed my split is and, and whatnot. So yep. I don't know. We, we got to put him up for us because... Make sure you get him the, straight. Well, you know me. I'm probably not going to... So... Because he's helped us so much. He's helped us. I mean, I, I think we... I don't know. Where, where should we put him? Like, kind of above us or... Right where he belongs. Well, then that's right below us then, I think. Right there. There we go. Not centered. There. Not centered? There. Right, right, right below us, Dana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks good. You gotta bust his chops. I like too. the looks of that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys get a chance, jump over and check them out. They're redoing things a little bit. Yeah. And He's funny. Got some some new ways they're of going. Funny. And oh yeah, they're gonna make you laugh. So. Good people. Uh, what else have we got? We have this one. Todd's outside again. And. Yeah. The reason, um, well, he's been a big help to us. He I has mean, definitely also been a big help to us. For somebody um, that we, we, we had never known, you know, we met him down at Paul Bunyan, yep, but we've been able wife, to, Christine, they're yep, great people. We've been able to go back and forth talking to them, uh, over the phone, texting, you know, and it's, it's, it's just been, he's been a big help. He actually had a short that went crazy too. So we got the. Got to use him as sort of a sounding board as yeah. to how to how to do all this and because we don't most of the time we don't know what we're doing we just we <laughs> I know really don't. I know it's not obvious but <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're gonna put Todd out there yeah and he has a special spot because well mainly because we know how Dana works yeah, yeah. so we're gonna put Todd <gasps> right here. Because right, right above us. We're pretty sure Dana would show up with his stickers and he put would. one up there. I know that's what would happen. When we're not here, Dana would just come in and so now we can't. put his up there. Because so. Todd's outside again is up there. <laughs> that looks nice. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Thanks, we really Todd. appreciate all the help you've given us and and whatnot. So Who's uh, next? We're not gonna do a ton of stickers today. We're no, doing... we're doing them in smaller groups. We've yeah. got like twenty some stickers, so we wouldn't do uh, that, but we are, we're getting through them, and uh, we're going to take a few at a time. I well, wanted to at least get a few of the kind of the important ones that have, that have helped us get, get the channel going and, and have helped us kind of get to where Along we're at. Along the way, yeah. I mean, I think it's the yeah. viewers that have got us to where we are. Absolutely, I mean, but it's without that, those we, inner we, working things that yeah. we just don't understand. And yeah, there's, there's a lot to all this stuff. Yeah, and, it's just it helps to talk with people that do it. and. That's what we do. So, so we got to do that one next, then. Yep. That's Heath and Rachel. Yep. Hardworking man. That's their great channel. I mean, that's. And if you don't already watch them, you should. Yeah, I think most Go everybody watches them. I think so too. But he's he's a lot like I am. You guys, he's he's wicked competitive. So if there's <laughs> something that's going to be done. I'm going to try and beat him. I mean, that's just the way it works. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he's the same way. we got to try and outdo each other. Yeah. It's well, just in our nature. I can tell that. And, and after meeting those two at, at the Paul Bunyan show, yeah, yeah, that's, that's how they operate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we did take their challenge, the, the third chord we did, splitter yeah. challenge. And that, that really helped us, helped our channel out it a did. lot it in did. the beginning. Yep, um, yep. We didn't I, do so great, but <laughs> I knew we didn't stand a chance. We didn't I mean, do horrible, I guess, but we didn't didn't win. I don't think there's been another single wedge that's beat our time. I don't know. I, don't I even mean, everybody was using. Was. I mean, we just got old Buster with a single wedge, and they were using eight ways and sixteen ways or whatever <laughs> they were doing. I don't know, big big splitters with the multiple yep. angles, and yep. they were just sending the wood out through. But we were what seven. Seven, Seven, eight, eight minutes? minutes? I can't I remember what it was. I don't remember but. exactly, but it was in that ballpark. It wasn't bad for what we had to work no. with. No. 
Oh, but I tell you, do it. it just won't kill me. <laughs> won't do that, that was again. hard work. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that anymore. And it was like soon. 90 degrees it that was. day. It oh, was God. Part it was in the cannon that day. Yeah, yeah. Not so, good. So, thank, thank you guys. Thanks, for, Ethan, Rachel. Yeah. For, You're going up on the door. Yep, absolutely. The, the dent's here, so there's still room here. You're going to go right there. There we go. Hopefully, it's straight. Look straight. There yeah. we go. Hard working man. Nice. Check him out. Nice. Uh, Who's next? We're only going to do one more like channel. channel channel. Yep. And we picked this one to go on this first time because you guys all know who it is. And I think we all watch him. It's kind of who, who we all started out watching. <clears throat> and he doesn't know it, but he's helped us. And I'm sure he's helped anybody else that's had a channel out there in the wood business because this guy is a master at making a video he's i mean he's got a photography business so yeah he but he kind of this guy is a step up on us <laughs> he's, he's like way up here when it comes to making videos and we all can learn something from him and i and i do that's why mm -hmm. i want to put it up there because it's a big part of helping us to get to where we have been i've been watching chris and right learning how he does things and trying to make our channel better so chris in the woodyard i'm yeah. sure you all know <laughs> plus we're both trappers and we kind of kind of understand that saying. stuff and we get to meet him down to paul yeah Bunyan, that was great he's a hoot <laughs> he is <laughs> so chris you're going up i know you're not really a sticker guy and neither are we really but yeah you're up there there we go there what yeah. else do we got we got a well you want to do that one? We might as well put it up there. We have it. It's it's a it relates to what we do. So. Yeah, I mean, it's it certainly has helped us that 500 I because it got my hands so they weren't vibrating yeah. running the old John Sered. I still got the old John Sered and I still love it. And we bring it out every now and then. But you got the fingernails. You got to peel that thing okay. off. Okay. So I think that ought to kind of go off to the side. Be you know something like that over maybe. here. Yeah. Steel. That saw rips, you guys. I'm telling you, it's... There it is. I don't know how many CC saw that is, but that 500i, but it's it's got some pop going on. Don't, don't look at me. I certainly don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, compared to the old John Sered, that was a 71cc. And the John Sered's kind of like... The only thing I can compare it to is like, the John Sered's like driving a Holley. You know, it's just got a lot of grunt to it. So, but that 500i is like hopping on one of them ninja rice rocket things. It's just <laughs> zing, zing, zing. So, which is good for cutting wood. Not my thing for riding bikes. But, <laughs> right. Um, Who's next? Chris Wolf. We got to put that up there because that has changed how we're doing these roadside stands yep since we started using the wolfridge bagging station we, we got away from the the wrap and you know using twister. the plastic wrap the twister wrap it's it's made it a lot easier it's made our life easier. it definitely has we um, we bought that bagging station and yep. uh that was definitely a game changer plus this is a really cool sticker yeah. i think i'm kind of a fan of chris I like his stuff. Yeah. I do. I like his stuff. I know you've been eyeing that. Uh... I know. I've been eyeing the conveyor, but <laughs> well, you're going to kill me if I go we, come home with one of them. We had to buy a decks. tractor, and then we had to buy a truck. So yeah, we don't see a the... conveyor in the near future because we do firewood for a living. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As you guys know. We'll put Chris over here. Anybody that's doing firewood for a living, you're, you're not making bank. You're not. You're not a millionaire. No. Although you could become a millionaire doing firewood. I've been told that. You just got to start with $2 million, do firewood for a year, and then you'll become a millionaire. A millionaire. One million. You'll have $1 million. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. kind of how this whole accurate. firewood thing works. That's accurate. You just keep getting more equipment. <laughs> I think I got a little crooked, but that's not too, all right. too bad. I'm a little crooked every now and then. I never know how, which way I'm yeah, leaning true. and hobbling. And, Look but, with your good eye. Yep. <laughs> But there's a start, you guys. There's a start, yeah. It, like anything, you get started <coughs> and you'll finish it. <laughs> and I and I think every time it's crappy out, 
we're going to come in here and add a few more. If we're working inside, we might as well just keep putting up three or four at a time and we'll get through all the stickers eventually. Yep. It's an awful pile of Dina them. Dina looks really good there. <laughs> right? Blow us. <laughs> <laughs> all right, enough about that. <laughs> Nothing personal, Dana. Yeah, I gotta be careful because he'll come over and plaster the whole wall. I know. Yeah. See, you just gave him the idea. He probably oh, already geez. thought of that. Yeah. <sighs> so you're gonna be building pallets. Yeah. And we both are because I really don't have anything other. You're gonna stay in hell? I washed the door. That was my job. <laughs> I wasn't gonna be, I don't know. The only thing I know about paper towels is they come from trees. So okay. I don't know how to operate a sponge. <laughs> That's, I looked for the batteries in it, and there wasn't one. Isn't so. that convenient? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Give me a chainsaw, wood splitter. True. I make stuff happen. True. But. Well, I can certainly help you with the pallets. I'm good at putting the bolts in yeah. and <laughs> tightening those up for the side pockets. But yeah. you got a good start. I got a few of them done. Maybe what, we'll, half uh, a dozen there? Yeah, this, I think there's two, three, four. There is six there, and the, there's another one almost, almost finished. In the works. I think I got enough two by fours to make two, four, six, seven. I think I can make eight more. And then we got to fire up the sawmill again yep. and keep sawing. But Hopefully in between there, the ground will be frozen enough so we can do a little split. Well, because... it is tomorrow. It's going to be cold enough. Yeah. I know it's going to be cold enough. Yeah, so. we, it seems like forever since we've split wood. <laughs> it has. I, I don't remember. It's been a few It weeks. was when we did the four cord. That was the last time because was we had it? to move the splitter. For the excavator. Well, I think we can beat that. Oh, okay. Because this, this new <laughs> setup, I think, with backing the dump trailer up with rounds. Yeah. I'm telling you, I, I think this is going to work, and I think we can beat four cords. It would probably be a day first of you cutting rounds because... It, it would. I'll have to... It, it'll lot. just be splitting and stacking. We won't be doing any cutting, which is why it's going to speed it up. Right. If right. I could put up... That's the whole idea, so... Seven or eight cord in that mount round more there, and... And then it's just filling a quarter two at a time in that dump trailer. Yeah, you're probably right. Don't I think it's going to go a lot of quick, a lot quicker, and you're not going to get a break from stacking. But oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a chance to get ahead of you know lunch snacks. Got to have. Got to have lunch and union breaks. Good grief. Yeah. So anyway, are you going to show them how far you've gotten here and? We can. I don't know. They probably don't really want to see pallets again. I mean, that's, it's all we got. <laughs> it's all we got, but boy, it's just boring. But it's a part of what we do. I mean, it's a big I, part. We have to have them. So the, the pallets are a real pain to make, you guys. And I, and I get why a lot of people don't do it. Yeah. But man, when it comes to time to deliver wood, and you can just pick up a half cord and whew, dump them, set it down, grab another one, go. Yeah. You're not. As Chris in the Woodyard would say, it's chucking day or whatever, <laughs> and he just chucks wood all day. The guys are not. Yeah. But I'm. I don't mind throwing some wood and chucking wood, but not all day like that. I'd rather. I'd rather go deliver six, eight cord in a day or ten cord or I don't know how much we can deliver in a day. I bet we find out next fall. Yeah. There'd be a lot of wood sitting up there. Yep. So. But yep. having the pallets is just key, you guys. It split it, put it on a pallet, and you never touch it again. It's so in all actuality, when we do have these moments that we get stuck, it's got to happen. It's the perfect yeah. time to build the pallet. So Are we can do anything else today. I don't Cause this think is going to be a really boring video. I don't if that's think we really we... have anything else to do today. We, we can't go out there and pallets. I, it is. I don't dare drive up there no. to pick up a log and no. saw some more. Uh, no, but we've got to let it freeze. It's just going to stave the ground up. So. Too much work and money went into that to yeah. mess it up now. So And out there, I smoothed a lot of it out this morning, and I know I pushed a good yard of that gravel right out over the bank. Oh, yeah. So And we need the pallets. We're doing pallets. Yeah. So. It's a never-ending thing. We probably should cut this video now because you don't want to watch us build pallets again. I just know it. <laughs> we, can, we can show it to them at the end, but... I think we just, we'll just show call what you this a video, done. huh? It is. It'd be a short one. It is. <laughs> but again, thanks to all you guys. Yeah, absolutely. And there'll and be more to come. I and wish we had a sticker for all the people that watch us, because that's who made the channel. Yeah, definitely. Mean, without all of you guys watching, we wouldn't be here. I mean... Yeah, we had another one of our subscribers um, reach out to us. He's been right along since nearly the beginning, I think. And uh, he's going to come visit 
probably after the holidays. So yeah. that'll be nice. I don't know if he's going to want to be in a video, but we're not going to force him to do that. But well, we'll, Robert we'll wanted, talk about that when he when he comes. Robert Daigle wanted to come down again, too. He did, we too. Talked to yeah. him and he had come down. He was the first one that came and visited us. And then we yeah. went up there because he got that Wolfridge splitter and yeah. helped him out a little bit. So he wants to come back and works for us. Yeah. I'll tell you who I'd like to have here in the wood yard. I think we'd have a lot of fun with him. Oh. Especially if we could get Dana over here. John. Oh, from Mount Bo Tammany Bo Ridge. Mount Bo Tammany Ridge. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> this, we don't have his sticker. I don't even know if he has one. <laughs> but I, I got to give him a... He's, he's, you got to give him... Do, uh, this guy is a hoot, you guys. He really is. You've got to check his channel out. <laughs> If he, you haven't already. He's always up to something, and he's, he's, he, we, we kind of go back and forth a little in the videos, and he has a lot of fun with us, so it's, the guy's, the guy's a hoot. I mean, I'm just yeah. telling you, it's, he's yeah. got some neat equipment, too. I mean, he's, yeah. that, that excavator for picking up them big rounds. Definitely. I, that's going to be on my Christmas list. Yeah. I'd like to have one of those. Yeah, Christmas of 2045. <laughs> <laughs> Probably when I'm too old to run one. <laughs> or dead. <laughs> but yeah, Mount Tammany Ridge. You guys, yep. it, I'm telling you. Check he, him out. Check him out. He's, he's just kind of getting going. I don't. He hasn't been at it very long, no, has he? No, no. A few months? No, I'm not sure Three, exactly how long, but he's he's doing good. and He's, uh, he's going places, I can tell funny you. Funny to watch. YouTube. Entertaining. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So give, cool. him a, give him a quick look, and I think you'll like him. Yeah. But. We're going to just wrap this up. Yes, we're done. I'll just sit here and run oh, this we know. pie hole for hours. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, as always, for watching, yeah. you guys. And uh, we appreciate it. We'll, we'll definitely uh, be back to splitting pretty soon. Probably be cotton first. All right, well. A bunch cutting. of cotton, and maybe you're, I'll stop and we'll split. You're going off again. Yeah, I know. All right, <laughs> we will catch you guys on the next one. How's that? <laughs> Take care. Bye.